some seniors are fortunate enough that they get good jobs and, and they get good pensions, but the ones who have not um, experienced those good jobs and have to depend on these pensions that are um, equivalent, in my opinion, welfare, where you can barely make ends meet, um, it, 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 it's shameful. Um, and as an elected official, you know, um, those are some of the things that I've been focusing on. Um, I, one of my first things that I did, I noticed that a lot of seniors were losing their homes um, for water bills. And um, I used to jump up and down about that. And what happened out of that, they started to say, well, it's not just going to take a water bill anymore. It's going to take a water bill and another lien in order for uh, seniors' homes to go into foreclosure. And, I, and that wasn't good enough for me. I said, we also need to put a mechanism in place where you notify care mm -hmm. so that they can get those extra, you know, um, uh, counseling so that they can know what to do in, in, in case, you know, their house fall into mm -hmm. uh, a, a, a lean um, uh, 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 situation. And I was able to convince the agency without putting in a bill that they need to come up with some kind of assistance for our seniors, and that's where that $100 uh, come up now, where if you get um, a turnoff notice, um, you $100 credit that you're eligible for, I think it's $125 now, um, and also they came up with the senior discount program, 